Now, there's some other uh, time in a woman's relationship where she is at high risk of her spouse leaving her or becoming unfaithful that we don't quite often talk about. The moment you start to set boundaries and prioritize and choose yourself. So you spent all this time doing everything, raising the kids, running the household. A lot of you are also working outside the home and still doing those things. The moment you put your foot down and say, I need you to step up, the moment you say, you, you watch the kids while I go take this cooking class or this dance class or go to the gym, the moment you say, for an hour, I'm going to take a bath and read a book, the moment you say, I need you to cook dinner two or three times a week, the moment you start being respectfully honest about your concerns and expectations for the relationship and some things that you might need to work on as a couple, the moment you do that, you run the risk of having a partner who does not want to be a part of that. They have benefited from you giving of yourself 100% and sacrificing your own mental health and physical health and abandoning who you are. They have benefited from that. They have gotten to skirt by under the radar. And now that you have said, you know what, babe, I love you, but I've had enough, a lot of men can't take that type of change. Now, let me go ahead and speak about the exceptions to the rule because I know some woman's going to comment and tell me that her husband is man of the year. There are small, teensy, tiny percentage of men who will say, you know what, I'm going to roll up my sleeves and, and participate and do the work with you, and we're going to rip up the foundation of this relationship and redo it because there are some things that are going to change. But for the majority of women, unfortunately, it's not just my experience and the stories I've heard from others, it's statistical fact. The moment you decide it's time to take care of yourself, it's time to prioritize yourself, it's time to start saying, no, I want to, you know, do some extracurricular activities and have fun and go out with my friends. I want to start this business for a lot of women. Unfortunately, the moment you actually ask your partner to be a partner and not just be a warm body in the house is the moment a lot of men clock out. This is why a lot of men who cheat and are unfaithful, they are trying to get whatever stupid stuff that they think they're not getting in you. So the moment you, you get a new friend group and you're going out every now and again and you're having fun and you start to take care of yourself, their eyes are going to start to wonder and they're going to look for women who can completely abandon themselves for them. And the, the sad reality of those relationships is let's say they do leave you for the new woman. The moment that reality sets in and that relationship isn't fun and new anymore, and they start to pay bills and do all the same things that they did with you, they lose interest in her too, so it's a lose-lose situation. Anyway, I digress. Because of this, a lot of women will continue on in their relationships abandoning themselves and not setting boundaries because they would rather stay married than to gain themselves. For a lot of women, and this is going to be a tough one, a very tough thing that a lot will not do. If you have a partner who says, you know what, I don't like these changes, I don't want to do this, I like things the way that they are, eventually you're going to have to either make the decision to accept that or to continue choosing yourself until you completely phase yourself out of that relationship. And nobody wants to talk about that. Everybody likes to say relationships are hard work. <laughs> First of all, it shouldn't be hard and painstaking, and it should be two of you doing it, okay? If there's only one of you doing it, it's not work. You're carrying that relationship on the back, and it wouldn't matter if you were there or not. Just with, oh, I want to start taking a cooking class. I want to start taking care of myself. I want rest. I want you to pitch in a lot more than you have. This is about little things. This is about if you desire marriage and you're with somebody who's kind of dragging their feet after you've made your expectations clear. This is about um, if you've said you don't want to have kids and all of a sudden they say that they do, keeping that boundary and staying true to yourself or vice versa. This is about 
I feel like I'm slowly dying inside and I need to do something so that I can feel alive. But you have a partner that's benefiting from you remaining in whatever coffin that they have put you in. One of my favorite motivational speakers and authors, her, authors, her name is Marie Forleo, and she had a guest on her podcast, um, an author, uh, her name is Elizabeth Gilbert. And every year, uh, Marie Forleo has this program called B-School, where she teaches women about business and, and various things to emp empower them. And she said, the amount of women who email her and say, you know what, I would love to uh, participate in this, but I need to ask my husband's permission. I need to ask my husband for the money to do this. I need to ask him if he is okay with watching the kids while I do this. And when she said that, it took it. I, I know this, okay, this isn't new to me, but for some reason hearing it in that way, literally took the air out of my lungs and I had to sit quietly for a while and really think about that. How many of us women have to ask for permission to better ourselves, to invest in ourselves? That to me is outrageous. I would love for women to choose themselves and to have loving partners who are on board with those changes. But the truth is, if you decide to choose yourself, you're going to lose your partner more than likely. They're going to complain about how hard it is to be a bare minimum father and participate in that relationship. And what is even more sad is the amount of women who will continue to abandon themselves in order to keep that type of partner around.